so this is the final weekend for club activities before the shutdown for the 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar. My name is Olua Femi Ashaolu, and I welcome you to our daily calendar on Nigeria Super Fans Forum. We started 13 days to the kickoff of the World Cup. Now it is just six days to uh, the kickoff in Qatar. I don't know, how are you preparing? I saw a couple of hotels in Ghana, particularly the Kotoka Hotel now. I saw um, images of Black Stars players. I saw the cab out at the airport just to put people in the mood. I saw some Ghanaians taking pictures with those just to put Ghanaians in the mood. I hope you are preparing our fans around the world, whose countries will be playing in Qatar. I hope you are preparing right here in Nigeria. No surprise, because we are only preparing for a friendly against them, Portugal. And I know that is going to particularly be of interest to the Black Stars to see how uh, Portugal will play. Remember, they will be playing their first game against uh, uh, Portugal oh, on goodness. November 24th. So, Kado Gundari joins us via video. It is six days to the kickoff. And, of course, today we'll be staying in Ghana. Stay in Ghana because there's so much to talk about. Always so much to talk about in that uh, part. Kado Gundari, welcome to our daily countdown. Uh, thank you, Femi. It's always a pleasure. As usual, we are here. The World Cup is, uh, you can feel the tension, you can feel the excitement already. Everybody, especially me, I am in the mood for the World Cup already. I don't know about you, but I'm very sure all our viewers, they are all ready for the World Cup. So we cannot wait to go. Let's mm. get it on. Okay, Kyle, we'll be, we'll be starting Ghana with something that is um, a bit controversial. Uh, we've seen it happen before, even in the Super Eagles. I think it's been um, a talking point at some point. Should, do you think Kotoado should allow wives and girlfriends of Black Stars players uh, in their camp in, in Doha? Do you think it should, it should be allowed? You know, this can have a positive and negative effect. But do you think players should be allowed to have their wives and their girlfriends around in camp? But let's even think about it. If they beat Portugal in the first game, I think you should say, okay, for, for winning Portugal, for the future against Portugal, I think you can have access to your wives and girlfriends. What do you think, Coyote? Well, Femi, uh, let me borrow the words of former Cameroonian uh, uh, coach, Hugo Boss. He said this, I think, in 2017, and I 100% agree with him. He said the difference between... African teams and their counterparts in Europe and South America that win the World Cup is that if the African player can concentrate on football, nothing but football for 30 days, nothing but football for 30 days, there's no stopping him. But you see all of these distractions, I do not believe for me from my personal uh, interaction with players, and the national team, I do not believe that our players, African players, have the discipline. For me, <laughs> do not lose focus <laughs> if you allow them to bring in women into the camp. They do not have the, of course, you will say they are mature, uh, they are uh, husbands and fathers and stuff, but yeah, what if they had gone to war? It can be of any motivation. Now, Femi, I, I, it is counterproductive for me. If they if they went to war, would you ask their wives to go and meet them in, in the war front? Let them still... no, war, no, it is actually. No, it is war no, on the pitch. No, no, no. It is war on the pitch. So I do not subscribe to that idea. We do not have the, the moral fiber, the tenacity of purpose, the focus, the intensity to stay focused without any distraction. If you now bring this distraction with your own hand, Willingly, you are the one who is handing the players a fully loaded gun and they can shoot in any direction. <laughs> so for me, I do not agree. Anybody who is even thinking about that should perish the thought immediately. We do not, in Africa, I'm not talking about any other, I do not want to talk about any other place, but in Africa, our players are not uh, responsible. That I don't mean that in an insulting way. They are not responsible enough to have their girlfriends and wives come into camp and they will not lose uh, 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 focus in what they are doing. I've been, like I said, I've been around the national team. I, I see what players do for me, the extent to which they go. Don't forget in 2004, the Nigerian team to, to have to the Afghan in Tunisia, three players were sent home in disgrace because of something like this. When they were alleged to have small good women into their, into their hotel rooms, you understand? So for me, that's even the one that was not allowed. They see small good. And I learned from, from very reliable source that those were not the only three. They were just used as the scapegoats. So that means it's a widespread uh, practice. Now, if you now 
sanction it officially, that means you have scattered the thing. So I do not want Ghana to even think about it at all. Mm, okay, okay. So, so Otoado hasn't come out to actually say it would allow the Black Stars players to have access to their wives and girlfriends, but it's something that um, Ghanaian, Ghanaian media have tried to, or it's a debate that they've tried to stir up because it, you saw some of them, they posted pictures of their wives or, and girlfriends or some of these players, and they were saying that they would likely join them uh, in, in Qatar. We know Otoado is a zero bread kind of, so I'm sure practices like this, it might not want to allow it, like you said, you might think about it to be a counterproductive. But if you look yeah. at the lifestyle of someone like Ronaldinho, I think he, he said he, he parties a lot, he, he, he probably leagues around women a lot, but he had a very bright uh, uh, career. And also Sergio Ramos, I think there was a time his wife came out to say that Sergio Ramos would have sex almost every week. And you, you saw how, how well he performed at, at, at a, uh, his career at Real Madrid. Femi, if you think Ronaldinho is a success despite his off the field activities, now imagine if he had if he, if he had added discipline to the talent he had. That's the difference. He would have even been bigger by today. Nobody would you would not be able to mention any other players in the same breath with Ronaldinho if he had that discipline. But he did not have. It's typical of Brazilians. Many of them, 90% of Brazilian players. Romario, for example, was a player who didn't like training at all. The same thing with Edrano. A lot of them, Edmundo the, the Beast, all of them, they do not like to... I think the only player who had uh, the kind of discipline of the European player was Kaká. And that had to do with his being a very, very religious person. So every, the typical Brazilian is a fond of him. Gaga, come what devil may care a person. So I don't think Ronaldinho is a good example. Don't use Ronaldinho as an example. What I want you to think about is what could have been if Ronaldinho had added discipline, personal discipline, to the kind of talent he had. Then that means there would not be any player. It would, it would have been the greatest player of all time. So I don't want you, Femi, to keep insisting on this yeah, because when you yeah, make me uh, make excuses like this, then that means yeah, you have yeah, something yeah. up your sleeve that you are planning. <laughs> I do not support you in this journey at all, at all. I do not support you. No, the super egos are not going. So our fans are across the world. Can they say no, 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 uh, no absolutely no, no, absolutely no, no. Uh, around the camp of the black stars in Doha? Okay, uh, let's let's keep that aside for now. Can they still stay in Ghana? Of course, uh, uh, you no. Know, the controversies that surrounded the dropping, I like dropping now, of um, Joseph Pencil, like we said, someone who scored five goals, created six assists in 13 games for Genk in Belgium. So why wouldn't you be taken to the World Cup? And one man has come out to uh, Wilfred Jose Palma, who, who also um, also wanted to be president, uh, GFA president at, at some point, but lost to Kotaku, or Koto Krako. He has come out to say that um, the reason why uh, the serpency was dropped was because of uh, his closeness to him and he's saying that it is why the guy is suffering this kind of um, bad treatment in the national team and he talked about other similar black uh, Ghanaian players who have turned their back against the black stars Kyle, I think um, Ghana should, um, should not you know, be toying with this kind of controversy ahead of the World Cup. We have a number of African teams who, are, who already have issues on ground even be, before the tournament gets started and I think this is already adding to it because a number of media outfits in Ghana are also not happy that um, uh, Joseph Prince will not be going. Remember the outburst by his agent or friend also to see who came out to call the GFA all manner of unprinted names. But I think we do not need controversy such as this. Well, for me, as heavy and wavy as that allegation is, it still remains an allegation. Uh, it's an accusation that has not been verified, that has not been proven that it is true. But if it is, well, then... If you, were that, if you were saying that the guy has done everything right, that what else does Otoado expect him to do that he hasn't yeah. done? That even the GFA is supposed to insist that someone like this, who is doing well in Europe, must go to the World Cup. Well, let me play. Let me play the devil's advocate. The player, the coach, who we have given a job to do, has decided he doesn't want the player. Probably because he felt he doesn't fit in into his game plan. We cannot, except we, we tell the coach that we do not need his services. Whatever he does, we have to accept it because at the end of the day, he will carry the can. 
whatever happens. So if he decides in his own wisdom that he doesn't want uh, this young man, then we cannot force the young man on him because he has a valid contract as coach. He decides who and who he wants. So if he needed the player and he, he can't get the player and the GFA cannot get the player for him, that's a different thing. But he is the one who is rejecting players now because he feels he has enough on his hands. You don't know what uh, strategies he's going to, to, to fashion out for the team. Probably this player, as good as you think he is, has not been, is not the kind of player who will fit into those plans. Don't forget that, uh, what's this guy's, oh, no, Paul Ono actually is in Europe scoring goals as if it's been out of fashion. He has not been able to tie down a regular place in the Super Eagle simply because his pattern of play does not suit the coach that the coaches that he has played under. So for me, like I always tell you for me, I do not try to take over the job of the coach. It is the prerogative of the coach to decide who and who he wants in his team. Not you, not me. The GFA saw you, they saw me before they gave the job to Otoado. And if Otoado is, is going to be paid X amount of money, we should not be the ones who will now be doing his job for him. He has decided on the kind of players he doesn't want. Yeah, the ones he has now, he believes they are the ones who can get the job done. So, let, so be it. Let's, let's see how it goes. Okay, Kyle, I understand what you're saying, but I'm sure even some of our, fan, our fans, if you check the, the comment section, they, they will disagree with you because they said the uh, Ghanaian football is about politics. And they mentioned particularly the GF, if you read some of the comments. And mm -hmm. again, if you look at the, the, the controversy surrounding the dropping of Jeffrey Schlupp, someone that the GFA has been on for over a year, and he accepted to be to return to the Black Stars again, only for him to be dropped for the World Cup. This is someone who is consistent, he plays regularly at Crystal Palace. What would you say to that as a round of character? As bad as it is, as bad as it is, I still insist that it is, the coach has to make the final call. He has decided these are the players he wanted. Let's respect his decision, Femi. I understand your frustration with the non-invitation of uh, Jeffrey Schlupp, but the truth is we have a coach who is in charge. Let him do his job. If you do not let him do his job, you are not going to be appointed a coach, Femi. Let the coach, well, the person who is going to be paid, who is being paid, let him do his job. It's as simple as that. We should not be splitting ears over this because somebody is going to be paid at the end of the month. You are not that person. Let the person worry. If the team doesn't do too well, he is ready to pay to pay the sacrifice. So for me, let's let's not disturb ourselves over this. So Carl Day is singing the same song as the president Anna Kufuado, who said. Let's allow Otoado to do his job. Unfortunately, a lot of Ghanaians do not agree with that. They, they feel that um, Otoado has taken a number of wrong decisions already. But, of course, let's get our fingers crossed and see how things pan at the 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar. We, we wish the Black Stars all the best. We want them to go all the way, even to perhaps even surpass, like how they said some time ago, uh, they are they are 2010 um feet where they go to uh the, they almost go to the semi final uh, of that uh, competition. Kado Gundari, thank you for joining us uh yeah. today on. Uh, thank you, Femi. It's always a pleasure. See you tomorrow. All right. So our fans around the world, see you tomorrow. Thank you for staying through with us uh, on this uh, journey, our daily countdown to uh, this tournament. It's almost here now. We can smell what is cooking in Qatar. I hope you are also in that mode already. So tomorrow is going to be another wonderful time on our daily countdown. So until we see you tomorrow, I remain Olu Afemi Bye for now.